Hello, welcome to Three Quick Minutes with Pastor Billy. Sorry it's been a while since I've posted a video, uh, but just been super busy and uh, really just trying not to go through the motions and just doing it if I don't have anything to, to say. So I pray that today that I've got something uh, something to share with you. Um, as I was reading a, uh, a book, I found this, uh, this illustration from uh, Sean, Dr. Sean McDowell. Um, and he shared how he was in Breckenridge, Colorado, and while he was in Colorado, he went to get his hair cut, ended up having a, uh, the young lady who was going to be cutting his hair ask him a question uh, about a book, a Christian book that he was reading. He, she said, can I ask you a question? And he said, absolutely. And, and her question was this, why does God allow so much evil and suffering in the world and sean in his testimony says you know i thought to myself that's easy i got an answer to that question and he just started answering all of her questions giving good intellectual uh logical clearly thought out answers to the questions and he said before before he knew it what happened was she just stopped she held the scissors and then she started to cry and he and he thought to himself, "Oh no, what have I done?" And and she said, "It can't really be that easy, can it? I just I just don't get it." And anyway, long story short, he he says she finished cutting his hair. He gave her a big tip. Uh, he walked away thinking what went wrong. And the friend who was with him and said how with with him said to him, "You know what happened, don't you? You were truly just arrogant. You." Asked her the she asked you the questions, you answered the questions, but they were like packaged answers. Here's the thought that I took away from it, and here's really kind of the the, the purpose of his illustration. It really got me me thinking, and that is behind every question, there's a questioner. Behind every question, there's a questioner. I, it, I think about this woman who was caught in adultery in John chapter eight, who uh, was who who they wanted the the religious leaders wanted to find her guilty, and and Jesus simply said, "Go and sin no more." He said, "Go and sin no more." He knew that there were deep and desperate needs that she had, but he he just showed some some deep love and compassion. And the thoughts that another thought that came to my mind was reminding me of Jesus himself that tell when John chapter one verse fourteen telling us that Jesus was filled with grace and with truth. We tend to be so focused on sharing truth because we don't want uh, we don't want people to think that we agree with them or that we we uh, we accept a lifestyle or we we don't want to be seen as weak. Uh, but we don't we don't share grace. But here's what the apostle Paul said in First Corinthians thirteen: If I speak in the tongues of men and of angels, but have not love, I'm just a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. And if I have prophetic powers and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, even the mysteries and the knowledge of why God would allow evil in the world. And, and have all faith so as to move mountains, but have not love, I'm nothing. You see, what Jesus calls us to do is He calls us in Romans twelve fifteen to weep with those who weep, to rejoice with those who rejoice. May we, may we as followers of Christ be humble, myself included. God, God may I be humble in sharing truth with people. And caring for the needs that people have. Let's pray. Father, we all have questions. And we praise you that you are the answer. Now God, would you help us to be a humble people. A gracious people. And a loving people as you were loving. Thank you for Jesus. For his death and his resurrection from the dead. It's in his name we pray. Amen. Amen. Hey, thank you so much for joining me today for uh, three quick minutes and uh, talk to you later. Bye.